You know what? Maybe this time I'm going to play through all three games. Confirm facial identification. Confirm military spec. Confirm psychological. Confirm priest. Please log in to access your profile. Quick start. Feeling. Please log in to access your profile. I'm just going to keep Jane Shepard. Profile reconstruction complete. I'm going to play as Fem Shep. Uh, you know, I played Mass Effect 1 a little bit, uh, this one, as Fem Shep, but I've never played through all three games. So, you know what? This time, this time around, I'm playing through as, as, as Fem Shep. Uh, let's see, confirm character. Identification confirmed. Casual. <laughs> yeah, you hear me yawning because I just woke up. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. And even though I feel awake, I'm actually pretty sleepy. Squad power usage active. Subtitles auto save. Accept. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I gotta say, right next to Star Trek, this is one of my favorite sci-fi universes. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. tough choices because they're all good I mean except for I agree forget I agree over 
overreact. Cut the chatter. Oh, you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. Great. You pissed the Captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Right. Uh, I am not gonna bother trying to change the controls right now, because I know I can't draw my rifle. Uh, so once we get on oh, Eden Prime, I'm gonna be swapping in and out to go to, uh, You're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Uh, once we get on Eden Prime, then I'll have uh, full access to the controls, and so that's when I'll be swapping out to uh, <clears throat> to map my uh, Steam controller. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like that. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this guy is gonna die. That's crazy. The captain. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. I love the doc. Uh, I only played Mass Effect 2 once. It was my favorite of the three, and I only played it once. <clears throat> I think my problem is that it's it's really in the middle. Mass Effect 3 I played a couple of times, but uh, to play Mass Effect 2 I always felt like I needed to get through Mass Effect 1 first, and that uh, I did a couple of times. It's just I didn't take too many profiles into Mass Effect 2, so the one time I played it I got the doc killed. And so I missed her in Part 3. I would watch friends play Part 3 and realize, oh, the doc is there, great. I miss her. Uh, Dr. Drake, relax, Jenkins. Part of the job, Doc. Listen, Jenkins, you need to calm down. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. It's just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. 
You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. There was more to say, but I think we covered it. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. It's gonna be short with him. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? He's a Turian, and I think it was Eden Prime where the, uh, where the first contact war happened, so... Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the Beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. 
You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Except he gets dropped off way before we do in a separate place. So he doesn't get to observe me at all. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. It's a giant squid. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. And a small a strike team Captain can move Nemo. quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in this mix, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. It's never clear. Did Joker land each time? Or did we jump from a considerable altitude? This place got hit hard, Commander. All right. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Now we start the hard stuff.
do do do. back and forth on this one. Um, so I need a base configuration. And of course, this thing is abandoning me. Great. Oh, luckily, I still have Mass Effect listed over here, so why don't I do this? First. Oh. Maybe that's why the list was unpopulated. Yep, there they are. So, I need something... I think a good start is to find a game where I can't jump. Vegas. No jumping. Except, yes, there is. All right, then in that case, I'll just go with keyboard, WASD, and mouse. It's always a nice place to start, at least. So, Let's also close everything that I don't need. Okay, so now I can Alt-Tab back and forth pretty easy. So, interact is E. On the Xbox, I believe it was A. So... Hold on. But clicking the, uh, the mouse is E. And I kind of like that setup. You, you're pointing at something, you click on it. I've gotten, I've gotten used to doing that instead of pressing A, which I reserve for you know, jump or space. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. Right away, I'm adding the mouse. Silent foot mouse. Right touchpad. So as soon as I touch the right touchpad, the gyro activates. Uh, and I may adjust the sensitivity down a little bit. I'll move it up and down as I go. All right. So, spacebar is the tactical HUD, which I just tested. And if I remember right, pressing one of the shoulder buttons is what brought up the HUD, that HUD. And so, I'm going to make that this bumper up here. Tactical heads up display space. Okay. Map is M. And I almost always do the map here. That's not tab, it's M. Oops. 
equipment for I. Assuming I can get to that from this game, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Squad, journal, codex, quick save. All of these are available to the menu. And I quick save I'm leaving alone since uh, auto save is already on. WASD up top left right. Shift to sprint. Already set. WASD, shift to sprint. Toggle movement speed. Okay. So, let's see. I'm moving. So that's storm. I'm moving and I'm in a storm. That is. But what does that mean? Change my movements. Crouch, left control. Left control. There we go. Press down, hold down, good. Right mouse. Now it's the soft pull, and I want to make it full. Aim. Right mouse. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to remove anything for the soft pull. Here's why. I want the mouse sensitivity to be at its default level. And then I'm going to mode shift mode shift left trigger, soft pull, mouse, sensitivity 1, 2, lower than normal, 1, 1, 2, there. So what that does is, I've got regular sensitivity on this mouse, but when I soft pull this trigger, I'm not zoomed in yet, but my mouse sensitivity is reduced. So I can, without zooming in, reduce the mouse sensitivity. Uh, and that, uh, without having uh, right clicked. So that gives me like an extra toggle. Now when I do a full pull, then the sensitivity is also reduced. Uh, and I'm zoomed in. So I've got the best of both worlds. Do I need to zoom in while while I reduce the sensitivity, or do I want just want to reduce the sensitivity? And this will also be useful uh, in menus. So I can slow the mouse down, the mouse cursor down, without right clicking. And so that is plenty useful for me. Learn, learn that from experience. So what else do we have?
change zoom level. That's a new one. But it's just E again, so I'll know to uh, click the, the touchpad to do that. Grenade is R. I usually put here, and I think I will. Removing the tech HUD. To here. And I'm changing this to grenade. Now, to cycle through the weapons, I think I'm going to use the bumpers. So, prev, open, next, weapon. Powers Toggle Quick Slot. I'm not sure, not sure what these are about, so I'm not really sure how to map them right now. Now, orders. Also, I need to worry about first aid. So I, I noticed it, but I just don't know where to put it compared to orders, which I suspect I'm going to use the, uh, the D-pad for. So that's... Is there a way to apply first aid? First aid and squad commands. So move, rally, attack, and hold. I'm not sure I'll need attack or rally. Since one, I don't know what they mean. Up arrow, down arrow, left arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Uh, but so I usually map first aid to up. But I also like uh, move up and hold position. Rally would be, I guess, regroup. So I'll do that, up and down. Uh, 
Ah, I hate regroup. How about fall in? There we go. Now I'm gonna think I'm gonna map first aid. F. Hold position might be useful, so... Hold. Right. I left out attack. Come back to that in a second. Zoom spacebar. N is returned to Normandy. N is the only one that I might need. How many of these buttons here have I not mapped? Reload was not a thing. Space was not a thing. Uh, space is the HUD, which I've moved up there. F I have as flashlight. So, I'll tell you what. F is already mapped. I just need to change the label. First, aid. And there you go. So now I can keep attack. quick slots and return to Normandy. Those are the only two that I have left that I may care about. Return to Normandy I'm gonna need. Some missions won't let you out. Quick slots. out of these quick slots, because I suspect I'm going to be using these the most. Uh, quick slots, I, it looks like it's going to be to fire. Different weapons, or different abilities, and I don't know that I'm going to use that much since I'm going to be able to use this to fire. So, all I really need is a way to get off uh, the planet on certain missions. So I need N, Return to Normandy. But you know what else I need? Uh, one that I ignored because I assumed I wasn't going to have enough buttons, and it was to holster my weapon. Holster uh, and draw is Q. So, I can double up, i say Q and N, for the X button. Since there's no reloading. Multiple. Q and N, and not R. Oh crap. Turn that off. Q. Now, Q, toggle multi. In. And that is to
holster your weapon and take off. Or should I say beam up? Alright, so that's that. I've got plenty of options for mode shifting, like if you run out of buttons and you feel like you need to do more, you can keep mode shifting and say, uh, you know, soft left uh, pull again, and then all of these buttons get, uh, I'm sorry, uh, button, button pad, and then I've got brand new buttons to deal with. But I'm not doing that. Uh oh. I lost it all. Starting over. Frack. Uh, I think it was Q and N. Toggle multi, Q and N. I did this to myself. N to return to Normandy. And Q to holster. Holster slash return. Interact. Use the use key space. Or is that E? I think it was E. Hold on. First aid. Holster, take off, crouch, jump. There is no jump. I think I'm going to end up using uh, pressing the A button just by accident, so I'm just going to change this to use E. Or did the spacebar have a purpose? Spacebar does have a purpose, and it is the HUD, which is up here. So, next weapon, previous weapon, escape from menu. Okay, I'm good. Let's export. And I'm calling this new personal binding. We go seven three ones mass effect bindings. I've learned the hard way. I haven't done this with all of them, but I'm like, let me go ahead and put in the date and time that I did this. Because if I tweak this, uh, if I end up with multiples, where you know I, I try to override one, but then it, it ends up with uh, with the same name, it's like, look, let me just, from the name, I'll be able to tell which one is newest and then delete all the other ones. So, all right. So I've created this. And so I want to select... I've already selected it. So there it is. It's available for me. And so the, the controller should already be mapped to this. Which means, if I go back to the game... Nope. I am motionless. Should I exit the game? Can I save? Save. Let's do that first. Now that we know that Mass Effect is already installed, 
Filter games. Actually, I don't do it from here. I think we can add games from settings. System, disk management. Add library shortcut. So here we go. Mass Effect is added, I assume. So there it is. Uh, not this one or this one. Both of these sh should not be here. Manage shortcut. Uh, so configure controller, and I want to select. It'll say desktop config. Descent. Doom. Half Life. Killer Instinct. Nintendo. There. All right, so now I want to play this game. And right away, my controller's not working. I had the same problem with Star Wars, and uh, I have no idea why. Why did the magnifier launch again? I thought I closed it. key, pressing them all, and nothing. I'm going to have to try to get to the bottom of this, but... Yeah, the controller's not responding at all. Allow desktop configuration and launcher. Experimental rumble emulation. Sure. Launch options. Add to favorites, set categories, change icon, change shortcut name. Delete shortcut. trying this one more time. Uh, and if this doesn't work, then this is this would be the second game that this has happened to me with, and uh, the last time here by uninstalling and reinstalling it again. So that's not a solution. Uh, I need to figure out why it is that some games uh, shouldn't do this. The controller should be acting like a keyboard and mouse. That's, that's how it's designed to, <coughs> to, to work. So... already running, and two, 
how many times do I have to close this? Uh, I want to test something else out. Let's choose, I don't know, the File Explorer. So here's the File Explorer. <coughs> the mouse is working fine. So, the, so I'm sorry, the, the, the mouse on the controller is working fine. Let's try something else. Because uh, maybe it's still in that. I'm going to minimize big picture mode. And then I'm going to go in here. Nope, that didn't make a difference. Garrus Vicarian looks like the Predator. So, big picture mode is minimized. Let me make sure that the desktop configuration that I've chosen is still pointing to Mass Effect. My Mass Effect bindings, they are. So I'm going to minimize this, and then I'm going to try to launch Mass Effect from the outside. Right now, the con this is the controller, so it's working from here. It wasn't working before, whenever this launched. Whether or not it'll still work in the game, I'm not sure. It's a learning experience. I'm trying to sell you guys on gaming on PC. <laughs> I've now spent, I, I suspect, half an hour just Mapping my controller, and for what? For nothing! None of it works! Oh no! Can't skip the EA logo. Okay. And whoever these guys are. Demir? How do you pronounce that? And... nothing. is still on. Let me get out of it. That shouldn't make a difference, though. Should I? So, yeah, got cut off there. <coughs> While I try to figure this out, I'm sure there is a solution. I just know that it's right over my head. So, once I get over this, then you and I will be better equipped to try to proceed into the future. Uh, Alright, so, cutting it off here. You guys uh, uh, take care and God bless.